Hello and welcome back to the FM series and as you can see we're in January there's a lot that's happened let's bloody catch up for our first match, we travelled away to Brighton. We got off to the perfect start with Belakotchap scoring from the corner. And things got even better with Lewis Dunk taking out Fulkrog, which got him his second yellow card, and Brighton were down to 10 men within 18 minutes. And in true Saints fashion, we conceded against 10 men with only a minute remaining of added time. And after that goal, we totally dominated the game, and luckily for us, Doig played it into Kevin Joseph, who was a Southampton youngster, and he laid it back to Doig to smash it home. It was nearly an embarrassing result against 10 men, but we managed to steal it at the death. We then hosted Crystal Palace. The game was a very dull one, but we managed to put the ball into the back of the net just into the second half, but it was given offside. Crystal Palace then went down the other end and scored, but luckily again, it was given offside. We came close to scoring as Fabio Carvalho managed to hit the post, but it wasn't meant to be as it ended nil all. We then had a trip away to West Ham. We got off to a shocking start as Danilo hit it in from range and we were down 1-0 inside two minutes. West Ham then got a penalty just before halftime with Lucas Paqueta making no mistake. Fabio Carvalho struck back instantly with this beautiful goal. But don't worry, the Saints do what they do best and are shocking at defending as we conceded instantly with some really poor defending at the front post. But that was it, a poor result and performance as it ended 3-1. We then hosted relegation threatened Brentford and got off to a horrible start as we conceded within the first 10 minutes. But with only 5 minutes remaining, Armstrong's deflected effort hit the back of the net as we stole a point after a really poor performance. Our next match saw us take a trip to Wolves and we conceded first again within 22 minutes. We then gifted them a penalty from the stupid tackle from Harwood Bellas, which Cunha scored to make it 2-0. And it only got worse for us as we conceded a third and that was it, a 3-0 loss and that makes it 3 poor performances in a row. Next up we had Bournemouth at home. And again, we got off to a horrible start as Pinsner scores within 20 minutes. And it only got worse as minutes later, Solanke hit the post and Pessian again was there to tap it in to make it 2-0. But we hit back instantly with Armstrong playing this great ball into Sila who plays it across for Mara to tap in. And into the second half, we got back level as Mara put it into the back of the net, but it was ruled offside. We somehow didn't score from this set piece as it was scrambled off the line. But only minutes later, we did get our equalizer as Doig manages to wriggle through and play a ball across for Bustos to tap in. And with only eight minutes remaining, Fabio Carvalho scores this beauty to give us the lead. We managed to hold on as we completed the comeback from 2-0 down to get a very, very, very important three points. We then hosted Tottenham. And with nothing happening in the entire game, it was very dull. But we did have a chance to steal the win with Alcaraz running through, but he slammed it into the crossbar. And we miss out on winning with the game ending nil all. And the final game to catch you up on was our first FA Cup match as we hosted Forest Green. I did decide to start some of the promising youngsters in our academy and well, it didn't take long for them to make an impact as Joseph scored his first ever Southampton goal after three minutes. And he loved it so much he decided to get another one 10 minutes later to make it 2-0. And it didn't take long for us to get the third as Alcaraz produced a wonderful finish. And just before the half, a Southampton graduate scored his first goal in his debut with this bullet header at the back post. But unfortunately there was no clean sheet as Teddy Jinx scored this beauty. We got our fifth as a dozy was taken out in the box and Silas smashed it home to make it 5-1. We did get a little bit complacent as a mistake from our young centre half gave Forest Green a second. And they got a third as Cowgill, what a name by the way, rocketed it into the top corner. But that was that, an eight goal thriller as we won 5-3 against Forest Green. So now you're caught up with the games, let's talk transfers. Our main signing for this window so far has been Breuer. Back at Southampton, we've got him for a guaranteed 19 million. It goes up to maybe 22, 23 based off performances, but pretty decent signing. Hopefully he can kick on, but unfortunately he got injured instantly. First fucking day here, he got injured for four weeks. So he's going to be out for a couple more weeks, probably not play till February. And our next major signing is a youngster who's going to be our third choice center half. He's got very, very high potential. So that's why I invested in him. He's going to be our third choice centre back because Zagadu wanted to leave. He wasn't getting enough game time. So he's left to Saudi for 14 million. So he basically just covers that signing. And that guy's got massive potential. But now that you're all caught up, this is how we look in the table as we sit 14th. A good nine points out of relegation, but we've really had some dodgy performances so far. All right, for our first game of the episode, we travel away to Fulham. Fulham do sit in 19th, so we're the heavy favourites and we need to get some points on the board because we have a very hard run of games coming up. 
And this is the team, basically the same team. Shea Charles is now is going to start defensive mid. Downs have been a bit poor this season. But obviously the front three sort of changes all the time. Doig's having an excellent season so far. Probably our best player in terms of average rating. He's been excellent. But other than that, let's get into it. He get three points. Sean Dyche, the Fulham manager. Oi, oi. Moranetti running on the right-hand side. More lanes into Alcaraz. Alcaraz to Doig. Doig, can he play it across? Doig, he can! It's Super Seku! Come on! And we take the lead within 15. Get the fuck in. I told you Doig's been playing well. I told you. Oh, what the fucking ball is that? What is that for a cross? They've scored out of absolutely nowhere. What the fuck was that? Nice. Uh, Walker Peters with a good ball. We're dozy. Doig picks it up. Doig thinks it in. Alcaraz. More lanes, it's in! Come on, we strike straight away. Come on, baby. Well, I'm building just for the half, please. Yes, it's wide. Thank God for that. Half time, we're up 2-1. We've been the better team, but we only lead by one. We need to keep up this performance. I say, Charles. Bastos, what the fuck are you doing, man? Well, one. Yes, you've made up for it. Well done. More lanes to Alcaraz. To Fabio. What is that for a pass, bro? Bastos, can you find the pass? Can you find the pass? Uh, yeah, fair enough. Okay. No, don't do this to me. Please. But, oh, my God, it's off the bar. Oh, my God. Please. No, no, don't do this to me, you piece of shit. I swear to God, if we can see the 94th minute goal, I'm going to fucking lose it. Oh, my God, Gavin! Gavin, what the... F oh, my God. I can't believe this. I can't actually believe this. Oh my fucking god, you stupid cunts. Really, man? Gavin, where the fuck are you going, fella? The ball's never even close to you. What? Oh, this is just fucking retarded. That just absolutely pissed me off. Fucking hell, man. We gotta win those games. We have to win those games. All right, and for our next game, we are hosting Chelsea. Chelsea sit in the top four and fourth while we sit all the way down in 13th. It's basically the same team with Downs coming in and uh, Carvalho coming on the left-hand side. Let's hope we do better than last time we played them where we lost like 4-0. Oh, it's given away. Sterling's given away. Bonanetti. Fabio Carvalho. Oh, it's over. What a start that would have been. Nice Fabio Carvalho. Into Alcaraz. Alcaraz beats his man. Alcaraz is wide. Alcaraz. Back to Fabio. It's lovely. It's Mara. He was offside, but that is a sitter, mate. No, what a ball to Sterling. Oh, fuck off. They've not been in the game, man. With the last 10 seconds of the half they scored, they've not been in the game. We've actually dominated them. Oh, fuck off. Half time, their first shot on fucking target gives them the lead. <laughs> fuck off, bro. Genuinely. Nice ball. Shea Charles, good play. Doig on the overlap. No? Okay. Charles into Fabio. Fabio. Fabio, can you cross it in? Doig, can you cross it in? Alcaraz, can you do something? What's going on? Alcaraz, it's in! What a start! Fuck off, Chelsea, you wankers! Carlos Alcaraz strikes, and we're level just after the break. Get in. And we have to share the spoils, a one-all draw. I'm not upset about that. I mean, second half, we scored and did nothing. First half, they scored and did nothing. So was, I think it's a fair reflection. I think a draw is fair. No, Carlos! Damn it, pulled calf muscle. Fuck. All right, this is the team to take on Brentford in the FA Cup away from home. Again, it's basically the starting 11. Bustos is coming in. Siler and Mariba are coming in with Alcaraz injured. Shea Charles isn't fit to play, so Downs is playing. Same back four and goalkeeper. Let's buddy get a result. Oh, and Breuer's on the bench. He's fit, kind of. So he's on the bench. He'll probably come on and hopefully have an impact. Set piece for Brentford. They whip it in deep. It's a great save from Bazunu. It's in. It's been tapped in. And we've been dominated, so it's not exactly like we can complain about it. Nice ball, Mariba. Walker Peters, what can we create? Walker Peters, Tamara! How do you... We seriously have a goal-scoring issue, man. Fucking hell, how many chances do we need to score goals? That should be one all. And it's half time. we're down 1-0, and we're going to make some changes, because some of these players are playing shit. Breuer's going to come on for his debut, and Adoz is going to come on as well. Doig, are you taking the piss? That was your pass. Oh, oh, Breuer off the post. He's offside. Ah! Oh, how has that ball got through? Chance back post. Oh, it's nearly in. It's at the post. Larios. To Buenadetti. Buenadetti, it's in! Come on! 
With 10 minutes left, he's just come off the bench and struck. Get in. Fuck, that's going to be... That means we have a replay, bro. I hate the FA Cup in this game. I don't need... Well, actually, you know what? We don't play any fucking games, so it's fine, actually. <laughs> I forgot we're not playing 70 games a season now. That's all good. So we'll draw Derby away in the English FA Cup if we are to beat Brentford. We're having a decent little run here of good teams to play against, but obviously we've got to beat Brentford first. Oh my... Adam Armstrong, will not, he wants to leave on loan with a permanent option so he can game time. He's rejected about 15 offers I've accepted from. He will not leave the club. God, he is pissing me off. I might just fucking release him at this point. All right, into the next match. We play against Everton away. Everton having a good season. They're sitting in eighth. They're actually fighting for Europe, really. We're slipping down a little bit. We've still got 10 points clear of relegation, so I'm pretty certain we're going to be fine with that. But I'd rather finish 13th, 12th, 11th, somewhere around there. Ralph Hasenudu, we beat again. He spanked us the last time we played him, so let's bloody do better. Jesus Christ, getting pushed back. Fucking hell, we're getting pushed back so much by Everton. Ralph Hasenudu is precious too much. Or lanes. Oh, Mara's not going to get there. What a wasted position. Nice win. Walker Peters. More lanes. Back to Walker Peters. Walker Peters drives. Walker Peters. Maradin! Super Seco strikes! Come on! Nice, Brunetti. No. Onana. Stings. No way. No. No fucking. We just. Oh my god. Why why are we like this? Why can we just not defend? I what the fuck? Stings on the set piece for Everton. Ah, fuck off. We're fucking useless! We're actually useless! We can see two minutes out to scoring, five minutes into the next half. Fuck's sake, man. Oh doig! Are you a fucking Like are you joking? There's a lack of IQ in this fucking team, I swear to god! You've got the ball! The ball is right there. If you take a step to your right, you win it. Nah, I'll just take him out. I'm mind blown. I am mind blown at some of the retardedness of this game. Oh my god. They're stupid. Fuck off, man. Oh, man. This team concedes such shit goals and we barely score. It is really pissing me off, man. This, there's no way this is going to go through, but I've got a 28 mil offer from Arms, for Armstrong from a Brazilian club. This ain't never going to go through, but we'll accept it regardless and pray to God that some miracle happens where he just fucks off. No way. No way he actually left. Oh my God. He's actually gone to Brazil. We get 28. We get 22 million into the trans budget. Oh my God. Finally, the saga has ended. He's fucked off. I'm so happy. We have a ridiculous amount of money, but we just, there's just no one to buy. Like, we have 90 million in the transfer budget, but I've been trying to find players because there's no point signing players that are going to be like, oh, they may break it. Like, I'm not going to spend money, like 30, 40, 50 million, unless it's going to be someone that's going to start. He's going to change the team, which we just don't have that pool. We have no pool. There's been a couple players that could fit that, and there's just no chance of signing them. So the window's passed. I mean, there's nothing really I could do. I I've tried to sign players that will sort of take our team to the next level, but they don't want to join. And there's not really much hope. Then we just have to get up the table. Really simple. We have to finish higher to get better players. Because at the moment, there's really no players that I can sign that I genuinely think will be better for the team. It is what it is. Maybe one year we'll be able to spend the money. We had 80 mil last year, didn't spend base any of it. 80 mil this year, base didn't spend any of it. Brilliant. All right, this is the team to take on Brentford in the replay. This is the last game of the episode. Let's end it on a bloody high. Larios with the ball in. Fabio Carvalho. Balacocci to Fabio. Fabio! Oh, fuck! Nice, nice. Fabio, pick that up for me, mate. Pick that up for me. Larios, deep ball. Oh, shit. Nice interception, Shea Charles. Beautifully done. Larios, can you whip in a delivery, mate? Shea Charles. Downs, is he going to ever go? He is! And it's wide. For God's sake. Deep ball. Oh, give it away, Breuer! Nah, this team can't score, bro. This team can't score, man. Halftime had a fucking shit ton of possession on 70%. Created barely anything for just for Breuer to miss. Oh, man. Oh, my God. 
No, I can't be. Uh, I genuinely can't be fucking bothered at this point. What the fuck is happening? Every goal we concede, it's just such shit defending, man. Like, Howard, are you gonna fucking clear the ball? Like, what are you doing? Like, what are you fucking doing, bro? Oh, it's not Howard, it's the other guy. Like, fucking hell, man. Like, we can't score for shit. We miss sitters all the time just to get up the worst goals possible. Oh, I'm getting tired of this shit, man. Nice win, nice win. Hidozi. Larios. Larios! Like, for fucking Christ, man! We guess we're so shit. I am lost for words at how bad the fucking individuals are on this team at the moment. Yeah, just fuck off, bro. Honestly, like, Larios, cross the ball in, you fuckwit. That's game over. 2-0. We can't defend set pieces to save our fucking life. We can't defend in general. We can't shoot. We can't create. This team sucks for some reason. I have no idea why we are doing... We're doing worse with better players than we have been the last two seasons. Ah, oh, just fuck off, man. Full time, we lose. We're out of the cup. Fucking useless, man. I just... I don't understand why we can't score goals. Like, everyone is playing ass. Like, Balakocha had to come off because he was about to die of fitness. He's the only player that's played well. Everyone is just playing so shit, bro. I don't know what's going on. I really don't. This team is the most inconsistent shit I've ever seen. We're, like, we bet Liverpool 3-0 this season. We played against, like, Fulham and spanked them. They had, like, no shots. But then we just can't consistently play well. And you know what the fucking schedule is looking like? I'll tell you right now, I'll show you. United away. Liverpool home. City home. Arsenal. Arsenal home as well. Yeah, nah, fucking excellent. That's going to be the end of this episode as we sit at 50. We're 10 points clear still with it a game in hand. Like, relegation isn't really a threat. It's just that I'm really disappointed at the moment with this season. Because it's not as if, like, we're getting spanked left, right, and center. Teams are outplaying us. They're destroying us. It's more just the fact that we can't defend and we can't attack. And that's not ideal, personally. Not really ideal. But we do have some games in hands on the teams ahead of us. So we could easily fly up the table, but... We're just not winning enough games. Only won 6 out of 22 this season isn't good enough. And with the run that coming up, as I said, the four games against the top six, I mean, <laughs> I doubt we're going to be having much improvement in the recent weeks. But that's going to be it. Hope you all enjoyed. Like, subscribe, did. And I'll see you boys all in the next episode.